Hey guys, and welcome back to Resistance Fall of Man. When we last left off, we uh, kind of got utterly destroyed in York and have been dragged off to a, uh, a, conversion? a conversion center to be turned into uh, one of these Chimera guys. Uh, Strogification, if you will. Fate's worse than death. Chimera Conversion Center in Grimsby, England. Okay, let's go. This is this is pretty cool, to be honest. It's the future armor tubes. Well, luckily, these guys kind of um, dropped us in our cage for some reason. Uh, but they didn't take our weapons away or anything, so, well, that was unintelligent of them. So let's start taking out these drones. You can see these drones are nothing too special. Uh, they don't have weapons or anything either. They pretty much, I believe these guys are just bred to be slaves. You can see they're not hunters because um, they only have two eyes like a normal person. Got pretty gribbly teeth though, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, these guys uh, are what's creating the warrior cast, so to speak. Now, um, we do have some intel documents, I do believe. Uh, 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 Grimsby. We do. We have all of it. Okay, so. 22651. So there are some of the cloven in the holding pen across from us. I hope we get to see them infected before the crawlers get to us. I bet they make slip slip skulls out of the devils. The cloven have been screaming for hours. Jensen knows a little Russian. It says they're yelling something about the angry knights coming. Crazy bastards. The, uh, the mentals finally began infecting the cloven. They didn't fight against the crawlers. They just simply chewed the veins out of their own wrists. They bled to death rather than be converted. So cloven, um, from what I can remember, they're like the Russian soldiers, I believe. So Lieutenant Corporal uh, Canning captured during patrols north of Liverpool, approximately 1,400 hours. Transported overland by carriers have been imprisoned at Chimeran Conversion Centers. Location on the coast, Hartlepool, Grimsby? Question mark. The facility is running on a skeleton crew, mostly uh, menials. The Chimera don't have enough fresh bodies to warrant full time operation. Interesting. Lock mechanisms on cell, rusted, broke it open. We'll try to exit. Request rescue from SC. Followed some cloven down from Lancaster. Their behavior is highly unusual. Most cloven avoid the Chimera at all costs, but these are openly engaging them. They've harassed stalker patrols for days. It's almost like they're herding them. Sergeant uh, McIntyre wants to observe them a little longer before getting back to radio range of Northern Command. Cloven have allowed the Chimera to completely surround them in York. They're avoiding the Chimera, only engaging them reluctantly now, as if to hold their attention. What are those damn cloven waiting for? Why have they lured the Chimera to York? Interesting. Interesting, right. Oh, we actually have some information here on the hybrids. Ah, we'll definitely take a little look at this. Maybe, maybe if we have a shorter episode. We'll start reading some of those. Okay, let's go. So this is where the magic happens, eh? Oh, evening. Now we can actually use these as explosives if memory serves. Oh, Jesus. Didn't even see that guy there. Rather unfortunate. Not convinced they're really worth ammo. Yeah. Yeah, so those things explode. They're like little energy balls of death. That's cool. Well, this guy... Looks like he's uh, down and out. I did used to enjoy blowing these up. Whoa! 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Back when like physical um, interactions and stuff was a big part of uh, you know the next generation. Remember when they really did make a load of noise about physics. Unfortunately, like the PlayStation 3 and 360 weren't very good at handling physics because physics are very heavy on CPU calculations. Um, anyway, right. So we've got a door there that seems locked. Plenty of health and ammo. I say plenty, I mean, not really. I guess all these guys have been infected already. Not a great start. Sergeant Hale, First Rangers. An American? We thought the Chimera stopped all of you in York. Chimera? Those creatures. Oh, they jammed it. I'm sorry, Hale. Looks like you'll have to find your own way out. I'll be in touch. Frequency 77.6. It was strange enough that a lone American soldier was walking around a Khmeran conversion center, but it was his eyes that were most disturbing. They showed unmistakable Khmeran traits. It was subtle, but it was there. Whoever Nathan Hale was, he wasn't entirely human. Well, we've worked that much out. So, the Americans didn't know anything about the Chimera. Well, that's interesting. Explains that propaganda pamphlet a little bit more. So we've run into a new friend, Parker. Okay, well, hopefully she's out and about. She's probably going to save us at some point, I guess. Yeah, that's it, buddy. You, you, ooh, you little shit stain. Now that's not on, is it? Throwing your toys at me. You little gribbly bastard. Oh, hello. You guys are a little bit mobile, aren't you? Um, I'm curious. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the six axis stuff doesn't work, which is going to make this a little bit harder. Uh, I really don't want to switch up to my DualShock 3. Would it have killed Sony to patch the DualShock? Four, so it's compatible with the PS3. Would it? Would it really have been that much effort? I mean, I don't expect the Dual Sense to work with the PS3, but I mean, all their other systems were backwards compatible with controllers. PS1 and PS2, for instance. Oh, hey, dude. They really do like throwing those at us, don't they? Well, we're going to have to do a little bit better than that. Now, I remember when I played this game the second time, it was getting to this conversion center that actually made me start thinking, ooh, actually, there's something to this game. Keep those ears peeled. Oh, well, let's hose them down. Oh, got some actual warrior style enemies. All right, well, no matter. Now I don't quite understand the regenerating health in the context because apparently when the more we regenerate our health, that bacteria is supposed to be used up. But that doesn't, that isn't really how it works. It is definitely a little bit strange. 
Considering, um, you know, we can regenerate indefinitely as long as we don't get too injured. But, you know, it's a video game at the end of the day. Just about every series has thousands of plot holes. Oh! Let's get rid of you. Quite enough out of you, sunshine. Hmm, physics are kind of cool. In a basic kind of way. Well, we've got toilets here. I don't think the Chimera used the toilets. Maybe they do. I wonder what that was. That, that big clanging, banging sound. That's me walking into this. Jesus, with the strength of a thousand men. Oh, hello. Here's me trying to have a little peep at all of your equipment. You know what? Have that. Uh, we're almost out. The rifle. Well, I guess we use the bullseye. Oh, nope. We're spared the fate of the uh, bullseye for now. You know, I had the, a similar kind of issue with the weapons in Kill Zone. I mean, they weren't too bad, but they were just really unimaginative, kind of dull weapons. You know, a first person game has to get the weapons right, in my opinion, and this is just, this game just really didn't get the weapons right. There's something Halo's always struggled with as well. Some Halo weapons feel like really nice and others just, yeah, no. Okay, well, we've got crawlers delivering bodies. Do you think each one of these is going to become a... Oh, where the hell that's going? Each one of these bodies is going to become another soldier. That's pretty concerning. To say the least. Well, let's wake these guys up. Kind of thought he was... Yeah, yeah Halo weapons got significantly better as the games went on. As you would hope. All these drones, or menials, as they call them. Hmm. There they are. I like the way they kind of like skulk towards you. It is cool. It's very creepy. But then I've always kind of classed this game as kind of like a action horror game. Because they did go for that kind of horrific body horror kind of aesthetic with this game. And I think it works, you know. Ooh. Oh, yes. I forgot about those things. It's spoopy. Oh. Luckily, these little mines that jump out of the ground, they only take one shot. Which is nice. They also don't do a lot of damage, apparently. Hedgehog grenades, you say? Curious. Now, the hedgehog grenades are pretty bloody cool. And from what I can remember, they're my favourite grenades. They kind of... Uh, they're, they're a little ball that we throw. It's actually quite a big ball. Excellent. I do remember the Rossmore shotgun. Um, yeah, so the hedgehog grenades fire loads of spikes everywhere. They're cool. Like giant nail bombs. Now, I remember this shotgun being really good. Is it really good? I guess we're going to find out. So, we've got a few shells for it. 
24 shells. That should get us started. If you're finding, if you're finding, if you're fighting glorified, like, zombie things, then you can't go wrong with a shotgun. Oh, maybe you can have all the weapons at once. Oh, I'm, no, am I thinking of Killzone? I might be thinking of Killzone. Because, actually, I like games where you can carry all the uh, weapons in the world. Because it's frick video game, you. Okay. Looks like we've already pacified this area. Which is a nice change. Ooh. Yep. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of sounds like a pop gun. Yeah, we just got dregs. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. Can't have everything in a game. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it does. It sounds like a little kid's toy. Come to Papa. Should we give him a hedgehog? It's not a hedgehog. Don't know how we change grenades. Yeah, and your grenades just fly for miles in this game as well. Right, so we've got a torch. Can't change grenades anyway. So I don't have any spare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's shooting me? Oh, hello. Have a hedgehog. Oh, yeah. They are cool. The hedgehogs are cool. Took your time. So we're maxed out on the old bullseye ammo. Come on, you. Can we slap him? We can. We can just slap those guys. Curious. Come on, sweetheart. There you go. You coming? Have a hedgehog. Ah, that's alright. It's angering up the locals. Waking them up. Bastards. Sleeping on the job anyway. Okay. Let's see if we can... Hey, we're actually outside. We know where this is. Oh, we've got some birds. I guess they don't eat birds. Alright, come on you ugly fuckers. Certainly taking a few hits there. But that's okay, because we've got tons of health. Yeah, reloading animations in this game are also extremely dull. And very underwhelming. They're just not very smooth animations at all. Ooh, I've got a nice bit of health. Ooh, hello. I suppose let's switch up to something with a bit of range to it. Right, come on. Out of hiding, you. Oh, God. Kind of at the limit here of our range. I suppose we could be using the bullseye for this, but... Yuck. Me no likey. What's going on? I think he's the last one left. I suppose we could rush him. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Right, you fucker. Some of that. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. You slunk down. So, grab some more ammo. I think there's some more carbine ammo over here as well, which we could definitely use. So these guys must be like manufacturing their own weapons as well because they... What's interesting about these guys is although there's some kind of like organic mutation uh, they seem to have some symbiotic relationship with technology and they have their own technology as well which is really interesting. 
They're creating their own weapons, for instance, like energy weapons and stuff. So... It's one of those situations, you know? Would you like to know more? Yes! Yes, I bloody would. But that's part of the mystery of this game, because you never really... We can't do anything with these. Shame we can't pick those up and throw them. I'm ruined by Halo. Halo Infinite has ruined me. Love being able to pick up the explosive barrels and things and throw them at enemies. So much fun. Okay. And there's no audio really at all, which... You know, that can work, to be fair. That absolutely can work. The conversion center was built on top of an old fish cannery. <sighs> Networks of tubes transported the bodies from one stage of conversion to another. Once humans are infected by the Chimeran virus, they fall into a coma. The virus begins changing their bodies from the inside out, eventually turning them into one of the Chimeran creatures. The conversion centers simply speed up the process. Interesting. Right, so I think we're going to leave that as another chapter. Looks like these videos are going to be roughly 20 minutes long. That's not too bad, I suppose. So, when we come back, we're going to continue our murderous rampage through this conversion centre and hopefully get a little bit of insight in what exactly is going on in this place. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.